In today's video, I'll be giving you guys a tutorial of the PowerDirector video editing app. I'll be covering all the basics, so that way when you finish this video, you can get started editing right away. Now, I'll be doing this tutorial from my iPad, but don't worry if you're on iPhone or Android, it's going to be the exact same experience, except this is just going to be a little bit more spaced out. Plus, it allows me to hook up a mouse, so you guys can see exactly where I'm clicking, so that way it's easy to follow along. So to start, all we're going to do is click on New Project, choose our project name and our aspect ratio, which I'm just going to go for the YouTube style. And then in here, I have access to where I can import all of my footage. Uh, I'm actually going to choose the video editing album because this has all the footage that I want to edit with. So all I got to do is click on the footage and click the plus button. And it's going to add it to my timeline. There we go. All set. And then I can just click down here. And it's going to put me into the timeline here. And I can use my finger and I can scroll through and take a look at all the clips in my timeline. Now if I want to rearrange my clips, let's say this is not the order I want them in, all I gotta do is hold my finger down and I can move the video clips around like so. So I can let it go here. And there we go, I've rearranged my clips. So just hold down with your finger and you can move all your clips around until you've got them in the spot where you want them. If you want to trim your video clips, simply just grab either side of the clip and just pull it to where you want to trim it and you were able to trim your clips. If for some reason you need to trim something in the middle, all you have to do is scroll to the middle spot where you need to trim and then you're going to click the split button on the bottom here. Once you click that, it's going to cut your clip in half and then what you can do is grab either side, trim that middle spot to however you want it and there you go, you can trim the middle using this split button. Now, if for some reason we didn't actually want to do that and we made a mistake, uh, there's actually a back button right here on the side. So if we click that, it'll actually reverse any actions we did. And now we're back to our clip not being trimmed in the middle. So if you do make a mistake or you accidentally delete something, you can click this back button over here and you can reverse that action. So it's a very useful button. If you want to crop in on a video, all you have to do is click on that video, click the crop button, and then you can change the parameters here and decide how much you want to crop it. And then if you just click this button over here, it'll apply those changes, and now we are cropped in on our video. If you want to add transitions in between two clips, all you have to do is click on the black square here in between the two clips. That'll pull up all your transition op options. There's a lot of different transitions you can choose from in here. Some are free, some are paid. But for example, we could click on this fade here. We can choose the duration of that fade. Let's do one second. There we go. And then we'll scroll back to the beginning of this video and we'll click play and see what happens here. So there we go, it's playing. And there we go, up, it guys? faded it's over. Colin. So you can go through these transitions, explore them a bit, but that is how you change them. If you want to add text to your video, what you're going to do is click on this layers option because technically we're adding a second layer over the top of our video. It's a text layer. Uh, so we can click on this and it's going to bring up either text if we want to overlay text or we have the option to put a video over the top of another video. So if you were to make like a gaming video and you want you know your video in this corner and you want the game taking up most of the space or even just this example here where I'm in the side, I'm showing you my screen, you'd be able to put a video over the top of a video. You can also choose to add photos or even stickers over the top of your video. Uh, for this example, we're just gonna do text. Some of these are free and also some of them are paid. So what I'm going to do is click on this here and click add because I think that'll look good. I just back out of all that. So there we go. I've got that pre-made one in there, but I can click on this and I can click the edit button down here to edit my text. And then I can scroll down, switch by cyberlink, edit that text. I can also move it around the screen if I want. So if I want this to just be something down in the corner, I could grab the sides and shrink this down put it down in the corner here. And I can also extend how long the text will stay on the screen with this. So if I just want it for this clip, I could scroll over like that. And now when I click play, the text will slide on. 
and I've got my text effect. You can also change the color here, but we're going to leave it white. I like how that looks. Uh, and yeah, that's how you add text. If you want to do some color correction or basically add filters and effects to your video, uh, just click on whatever video you want to do that to, and you can go to filters, and they have a bunch of different filters you can choose from to change how your video looks. And you can also use this knob here to choose how much that effect is applied. Uh, but you also have the option to go to adjustment and you can also change the, you know, the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, and really affect how your video looks. I could add some saturation, make it more colorful looking, uh, the temperature, the sharpness, etc. You can control all that within the adjustment area. And then a lot of these other features in here are pretty self-explanatory, like speeds can obviously control how fast or slow motion. Uh, the effects button here, there's a bunch of different effects you can apply to your video. Um, pan and zoom is going to control the pan and zoom if you want your video to slowly zoom in or zoom out. Uh, duplicate, flip, reverse, a lot of these are pretty self-explanatory. And once you are done editing your video, all you have to do is click the export button in the corner here. Choose where you want to export it to, which I recommend just saving it to your gallery and then exporting it anywhere else. And then you are finished editing your video. Now, if you're interested in improving your smartphone videos before you put them into the editor, check out this playlist here where I go over the best tips and tricks to take the best smartphone video possible. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys over here.